Well, 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 hello, welcome to a new Pioneer video. We keep on going on our quest to explore the format. Today is the Sky Control. This list, featuring 80 cards, because it's a Jorion deck, the only format where you can still play Jorion. It's by Mac Sauce, one of my favorite deck builders, and whenever I try to play older formats, especially Legacy, I just copy paste whatever he's playing, and then I lose because I'm way worse player than Tom White. But this deck is pretty sexy. The sky has always been my 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 go-to. Blue white control I don't get it. There's something there I'm missing, but give me some lightning helixes. I'm all in. So yeah, this is just the normal blue white control, but rather than filling the deck with city cards, we play Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which is a wonderful card. It's even more full with Jorion. Fable is so good, you don't need other creatures to make it good. So we are playing zero creatures. This could be a Kahira deck if we want. I love Lightning Helix, I think it's amazing. In every format, it's legal. Uh, let me put the cool one here. And uh, yeah, let's see how this deck goes. Uh, I have never been a proponent of control in Pioneer, you know that. But I can always explain this deck, it looks. Pretty, pretty nice. I'm missing, the only thing I'm really missing is hard counters. One absorb or two, just some, something simple, you know? But no, only Dovin's Veto and no more lies. So I don't love that going into a late game with a deck that's designed to go very late into the game. So mm, let's see how it goes. Right, Jorion reveal. What does Jorion action going on lately? Keruga. We have a hand that's very bad. So this is probably Kintorius combo. This hand is fine. Let me tell you why. Kintorius combo just has to copy Kintorius. And we got an answer for that. And if they go for a bunch of dinos, we have an answer for that too. So it's actually not that bad. So this deck has to be weak to counter spells. And we have a bunch of those. And in Helix, not our best draw. If you remember, like, you know, so McLaren, uh, Jeskai winning deck, that was amazing and beautiful, but also it had Snapcaster, Bolts, Lightning Helixes, and Electrolyzers. So killing your opponent by just going burn your face was a real thing to do. We're not going to do that here, probably. I don't, I don't think so. It's a bit sad, I'm not gonna lie. It was a very good way of winning games of Magic the Gathering. Opponent going for hard cast two steps. Okay. Mm. Also, if they go Kintorius minus this, all both these kill it. So happy. They're probably just going to jam. Yeah, so it is. Kintorius can't, Kintorius can't. I need to let them put the thing on the stack. Or at least to the queens. Okay. Kill that one. Because since it's not Cascade, they could put the car into their hand if they wanted. So just let them let them do it, and then you kill it. Yeah. Another one, Keruga. Yeah, you can Keruga. I'm going to Teferi. Teferi seems good. I, I always feel control decks in this format really are Teferi decks, and when you don't draw the Teferi, Literally unplayable. Perfection, Omen of the Sea. A good way of using my mana. Oh, I'm in my own nest just here. Okay. That sucks. I can kill it. If I want, we'd get lost. Could do that. 
instant fry. Cool, and we just have to read them. The, the fact that I get lost still Spain's workers? Insane to me. Maybe I should have done it on my own turn. Let's use our omen mana. So with the fairy we will untap it and all that. Can I find counter spells? No. No, I can't. We don't play that many and we're playing 80 cards, so no. I think with the ferry, the matchup should be fine. The problem is like they are playing a random, a lot of random six and seven drops, right? Like the Beanstalk Giant and the, um, uh, what's the name? The there's a thing that has channel. It's a six drop with channel that gets you a land, right? Those kind of cards, like that's how you beat Red Black Mid Range, for example, with this deck. You don't combo. You just play six drops. <laughs> you play removal on six drops. But here, well, I think we are, we are looking fine. Cycling so try on main. Yes. I think since we have a lot of mana and we have the 34 extra cards, I'm going to use the omen. Bottom, probably bottom, bottom. Now they're going to play another ley line and I'm going to regret bottoming the get lost. No regrets. I will never regret anything in my life. Ooh, no more lies. I mean, it's a bit too late. Not le too late for memory values. I'm happy about that one. So we have very nice control over the game. The problem is we don't really have the permission to make it actually to totally close the game. We will need some amount of permission. And we don't have... Good thing is, Torch the Tower kills the Gintorius can. We are not losing to... Kintorius can this game. We may lose to other cards, but we're not losing to Kintorius can. That will also explain why Torch in the Tower is played in some decks like Phoenix. Yeah, I don't care about that. I have the Sunfalls for it. Release to the Queen. So you can exile that thing and play it again. You got it. Spark double. Yep. Let's make 10 dinosaurs, you know? Ah, Greater Tanuki, that was the name. Good to know. Oh, there's the Kintorius can. The first one. They are going off, huh? Let me kill the cant before they copy it. It will be problematic if they copy it. The Kintorius can't. Now they will copy the Trumpeting Carnosaurs, which is a lot more manageable actually. Another Kintorius can, that's the third one. Who will kill with another torch the, torch the tower. And if they find the fourth one, which they could totally do. That one, okay, no more targets, wow. No more clones, like people are not playing enough clones. So weird. Probably don't need that many. Feels this happens a lot. You go for the combo and you lose. 
uh, change the equation some so some even our second normal lies sounds acceptable uh, let me dismiss that this is a classic game is going to go on for as long as our opponent wants to keep playing because I don't think we can lose but they don't necessarily know that so they will keep trying to beat us and we will eventually ultimate the ferry and say hey are you done are we hard casting Linstock Giant oh her migration I forgot about that one with the sunfall we could let it resolve but I don't even care. Maybe they concede. I want to find the place that get me closer to a concession. The fastest. The fastest way to a concession. And they should totally be conceding by now. I wish I could show them by hand. That would probably help. So we're attacking for five. That kills pretty fast. Hello, it's me again. Just give up. So for me, the fun of playing control is getting to a point where I know I control the game. And I don't care to play after that. Like now, this is not fun. I feel like, of course, for our opponent, they could find a way to win and that would be awesome and a great story. But for us, it's like, I have a million counter spells in hand. I, I will counter literally everything you play. And then I will Teferi Ultimate and exile everything you have. How are you planning on winning after that, right? But they don't know that because I cannot show them my hand. Like, if this was... If this was real life, Paper Magic, I would probably consider saying, Hey, I don't think you can beat me. Would you like to concede and we go to the next game? And so there's no way we go to time. That's probably a bit rude. Maybe don't do that. But I think it's not unreasonable. Probably behooves both players to concede in this situation. One of the problems with that deck is that this cover is not cascade. So you don't, if I counter your spell, you don't get the two for one. So yeah, it's, it truly is fixed cascade. Sure, you kill my three three. Awesome. Are you happy now? You are searching for land. Sure. I'm even ahead on glow. It's okay. Nobody has to concede to you, huh? I could take a lot of actions I'm not taking. I could play Memory the Loose from my graveyard. I could do some things. I could have played a second Teferi to exile more cards. I don't think any of, the, of that matters. Yeah, I killed my thing. The deck Verasol. Yeah. They gave up. So more Beatles sounds awesome. This is not nice. 
Boiler down, not nice. Recipes, not relevant. Hello, Moonlight, not relevant. Very mystical dispute comes in, just as a free mana counter spell. Boy lockdown goes out. Helixis and Torch the Towers seems actually okay because they kill the Kintorius, as we have mentioned. Like, everything in our deck seems good versus them. Mm, probably second verdict. Let's take out the Helixis. Hmm. Is that better? Maybe not. Yeah. Probably have more counter spells now. I think we are fine like this. Lockdown is the only card that, that's truly really awful. The, all the rest. We're not playing Farewell. This is not a matchup where, where that matters, but I think Farewell is a powerful, powerful card. Like the fact that we can kill Kintorius and we don't then so we don't need to counter it. It makes this version of of a control deck way way better in the matchup than the, the other one, than the blue white control normal one. Okay, that will help us get there faster. No ram beam for them. Uh, Anchorage sounds decent, but I have too many lands already. No reason to take any damage in this situation. I don't think. One day Emperor is nice, it will help us to actually win the game at some point. Ah, I love that art. So cute, look at it. It's awesome. Got to love it. So yeah, if they go Quintorius can I mean the second Quintorius can will get us. The first one we can manage. Okay, a swamp, interesting, not an island. Ooh, maybe they have the six mana get take all my things. And they went for the double white, double black because of that. That card is very annoying, it's uncontrollable. Maybe we, we should have brought the Narsal Reversal just for that one. It's a Thought Distortion, right? Is the name? If they have a Thought Distortion here, we basically lose. Oh, they have it. Okay, let's hope they don't have anything else. <laughs> Spells can be counter and exile all of your opponents, all non creature, non land cards from that player's hand and graveyard. So, all of this gone. Can I draw a Dobbins Veto? Would be a great top. So much so that I should probably kill, use the omen on my own upkeep. Put anything that's not like anything that doesn't answer the combo on the bottom. Wow, that's so good. That's good. Problem is, Kerua will kill us. No, because we have the Ganjo. Kerua is a 5 4. We can manage a Kerua. Victorious can counter. Now, the, the, the Dino, the Dinosaur will be annoying. That's annoying. It is very annoying. They found a Kintorius can, which we can exile luckily for us. Let's see what follow up what kind of follow up they have. But we're not in a terrible spot. 
course, we, we could die next turn. Or this turn. Hmm. Great draw again. They, they have a. I, I suppose they have a Leyline Mining. That's that pump fake they did. I, I imagine it's that. Not blocking, okay, makes sense. It's amazing how good one name Emperor is. Okay, trading. It's not the best for us. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I was hoping they would um use the Ah, oh, I'm an idiot, right? I'm an idiot. I should have used the Granger. I, I thought I had six power. Brain far. Yeah, that, that. I should have blocked with just the choo choo and during the damage step, I can get up. Complete brain fart there. Okay, so now we have to beat a bunch of big guys. Which is doable. It's just annoying. I'm taking seven here. They know about the Ganja also. Well, at least that's not a that's not a scary. The hand is Keruga and Chuan no. So I'm going to try to like they are at eleven already. I'm going to try to raise them on the air. I need three attacks. Beanstalk giant. It's very big. Mm. Okay, now they play a gigantic beast of giant. At some point, they play Keruga and draw a bunch of cards. Not looking great right now. I must say, not looking great. I think I need them to overcommit and find a sunfall, so I'm going to just cycle this for one. Hard casting it, I don't think it's going to help us. Probably I should have played the Ganjo. Second one, get one first. Technically not bad. Hmm. That's not good for me.
so that thought distortion that literally discarded our whole hand was good, huh? And we can play the other of this the other guy with the end. Interesting. Vito not very powerful in this position. What is that? Gigantic shark typhoon or something? Oh yeah. Good one. Yeah, the cyborg seems a lot better than ours. Is this justifiable just because of thought distortion? Probably not. But probably Chrome host six shark is something like this. Also six shark doesn't get hit by the thought distortion and give us a bit of a proactive plan. With 80 cards you can well sometimes it's hard to draw the cards you need. And you can have like very disjointed disjointed draws. And that's kind of what happened that game but also it was the thought distortion right they were on the play they had it on turn five and we couldn't really answer in any meaningful way. Our hand right now is very decent. We should be able to stick at the ferry. That's always powerful. Let me omen to draw a bit. Oh, Fable? Fable... I don't think they, they can handle a Fable. Truly. Fable into the ferry? How were we not doing this before? Why? Leyland, I mean, sure. I will just attack with my thing, get a token, a, a treasure, play my Teferi. Live, live in la vida. What is this? Another one? It's a beautiful two for one in our favor. Don't mind if I do. I think memory delusion here is better than get lost in the ley line. I think. Maybe not. Searching. Because I think I lose and then I eat the ferry and that puts me in a great spot. Now even if they because with the um, like, saving the get lost covers me versus Kintorius, right? That's the whole idea. And if they don't Kintorius, then I will consider killing the Leila and Binding because I will draw so many extra cards at that point. Okay, that's the Kintorius. Depending on what they find, they can copy a Leila. Spark double. Spark double doesn't copy any permanent, so I kill that and they lose the spark double forever. I'm going to start doing this. Let's see what we have. I don't want any of those actually. That is nice. I'm just going up with the ferry. 
We go for the ley line, but is necessary. Like Fable is good, but it's getting worse. Every time it passes, Fable gets a little bit worse. This is a Carnosaur. We don't mind it very much. Yeah. Wasting your spark doubles on Carnosaur means that Pintorius will not be lethal later. So it's not great versus us. It's great versus other decks, but not versus us. Now I kind of regret the memory they lose choice. I didn't need to take two here. Since they have more to more targets, I could I should have done it before they were able to cast the spark double. You understand the difference, right? When there's a Gintorius coming on the table, you don't want to do it. Because they may find like you don't want them to to keep it in hand. But they're hundred percent casting it with the trumpeting carnosaur. So you may as well not take the two damages. Okay, that's nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to make a token actually, because that makes my my sunfall thing a bit bigger. In the life, so I can make my incubator token. I can flip my incubator token. Wow, we will not do that again. Three mana, first three footsteps. I'm not scared about that one. Even if it comes back again, I don't think it matters. This is going to be a Jorion game, finally. So usually, blinking planeswalkers is not great, but blinking the one-day emperor means you can actually use it instead when it enters again. So that's pretty cool. I don't think they have enough to kill us with a Quintorius. That's why I'm tapping out and not trying to to set, to get extra cards or anything. Bottom, 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 bottom. Okay, two somewhere. Okay, that's somewhere. I don't know how they get out of this. But I hope they don't. This is not as dominating as when we had the what the the Teferi, but we are doing fine. They are going to draw draw a bunch of cards with that Teruga. I don't find anything if you ask me. Still, we are doing very fine. The plus one plus one counter here. Attack for a bunch. I don't have to block. No, 
Log on to two live. Technically, try to find a. Um, Lightning Helix, but I don't think there's any need for that. Like, if they try to get out of this, yeah, I will cycle my Rag Rain Triumph and see what we find, but for now, I say we are doing fine. Let's see, they're casting something. Carnosaur? Oh, why? Last effort, I guess. Finding Pintorius. <sighs> Time to cycle. I don't think they have enough to kill us, but let's make sure. We, we do our best. Okay. So, me, if I'm wrong, out dying. They have no spark doubles in, in the deck? Yeah, sadly. They have no literally no targets for that. Maybe they have one in hand. Like the second the second release to the win. Not enough. Well, well, well let's go with round two. Have my companion. Anytime now, my online. Okay. Not the best, but since our opponent is playing another Jorion deck, I figure we got time. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Ooh. Okay, seems to be some sort of Nimithed, five color deck, right? Garnation. I explained this in the Nimithed video, but these matchups are usually like you have to jam, jam, jam into the counter spells. Uh, the stock is really rough. Yeah, that's a good one versus us. Now is grinding this is going to be so hard because they're going to have more cards all the time. Hopefully we get an early Teferi, like a turn 5 Teferi, and they don't have good answers for it. I do not think the red splash is helping us in this matchup at all. Second up the Beanstalk, interesting. No land drop? No, just land drop. Right. So usually game 1, they have a lot of dead cards, so you just keep your counter spells for the key cards and we don't play that many counter spells anymore and we are playing 80 cards with extra removals which are not the best versus them so it's not the easiest play ball ball is fine will i emperor here or will i deluge probably deluge because i really want a counter spell for the Five mana play. Okay, my own fable and a filler win. Sounds fine. Ready. What a card. A powerful, wonderful card. Ready, hero, don't. Uh, now Leila mining when with double up the beanstalk. That's not going to go well for us. Oh, they're missing blue mana. It happens a lot. You assume you have all the five colors, five land types when you have this many lands 
hasta los dos de time you don't farewell used to be a, a very good way to win this matchup because you can just get rid of everything and you destroy the ley lines and you get your stuff back and they lose well everything but without that it's not going to be the issues yeah you draw get rid of my teferi Two. Was a moment turn three we could have taken the Jorion into our hand and we didn't. It may have been a mistake in hindsight. I don't really want any of these right now. I don't really want that either. The problem with Star Typhoon is they have a million ways of killing it. So I don't love it. Double Fable, on the other hand. Seems powerful to me. Okay, the fable flips. Probably our, our turn is going to be like discard a bunch of lands, attack with the two tokens, and then sample the board. We'll see exactly what we do, but that sounds reasonable to me. Bulky is a problem. Anything else? Like creatures? I'm not. All, all those we're fine with those. We can manage them because we have the sample. Problem is, after that happens, they will have. Still seven cards in hand because of the double double beanstalk, and we don't have card advantage right now. Usually it's like the ferris plus one card, right? You draw, they kill it plus one, and here it was because of the beanstalks they drew more cards than we did. Oh, okay. I'm nothing to fable bad sets. That's so scary always. Okay, five mana, one of each color. As mentioned, if they just play an Inmithel, Manish inverse one of my fables and play the, another fable. Alright. This we are going to get a huge sample token. That's something. Maybe not that huge because they, they may block, but I think attacking and getting the treasures is more important. They're going to discard two lands here. Okay, blocking makes sense. Now blocking also makes sense.
I imagine they totally expect this to happen. I will play a second fable, which is not bad. All right. Taking my token, probably with the idea of playing Jorion and then taking another thing. I would take the Golden Summon, I guess, right? If that's your plan. Okay, four mana, but five mana. They can play a sample of their own just to draw without the beanstalk, which is impressive. Ah, I see how they Yeah, they're going to draw a lot of cards if they want. They probably will. There's no point on blinking, okay? Decided to blink everything. Just going to loot with the beanstalk. Yeah, this is a lot of value for our opponent. A lot of card advantage. Which fable are they going to exile? The one on two counters or the one on one counter? On one counter, okay. Makes sense, I guess. Taking us out of the option to loot and all that. Stimbanks. Probably be just passing. I'm going to go for a memory deluge instead. See what we can hit. Could also cycle Sar Typhoon, get a gigantic token, but they would probably have a removal for that. They are cycling a lot of lands. Could also block with my Goblin Summon and give it plus one plus one with the Emperor. I think I'm fine taking six. Six is not terrible. We're going to die to a bunch of lightning helixes. That would not be fun. Plan, command, discard cards. Okay. Bye bye, Rabuin. They have so much more cards than we do.
a lost and a bright lockdown I think makes sense maybe I don't I think I have fine cards to play here One twist. I should have done the get lost first. What are they doing? Floating mana. Ah, for their treasures. Come on to this. See if it works. If they have another ley line, which they could have, that's going to be problematic. So the problem with doing this, uh, that's the ley line. The problem with doing it this way is I cannot draw with the ferry. Well, yes I can, right? Because they have to ley line the temporary lockdown. Or are they going to ley line the ferry? That's interesting. It's not a trivial choice. Ley lining the ferry. Okay. To play Omen, I get more lands probably. Uh, Philo Ruin will do some work at some point, so I'm going to take it. And I'm going to right away exile the Jorion. Yeah, uh, I completely forgot about the get lost. So I should have get lost first, then activate the ferry plus one, let them draw, and then use the use the other one. That was a complete miss, a complete blunder. So we are in a very rough spot. Haven't discarded any basics. Okay. Bring to light wins the game. Mm, Hardcast Nimithet wins the game. Nimithet reward. They they hit a bring to light. That's it. I Nimithet. Yeah, so bad. I really don't think Nimithet is a wood card. People play it and play it and play it. Just think it sucks. Since they have a million cards, I could bring the temporary lockdown. They draw, they draw a million, but they already have a million. No, they go up to nine and everything. But I think the extra card I get from the from my omen would be better than the card they get. So I really, really need to find um a Dobbins Vito here. Without Dobbins Vito, I'm going to die. Valky. So let's try to find a Vito. Felix is not bad. Everything comes down. Ah, uh, I need a Vito. Remember, it not going to do it for me. Most probably. In that case, I should now kill the reflect. Ah, kill the reflection. 
while they don't have anything to copy, it doesn't really matter. Let's see what they put on the stack. I'm scared of multiple lightning helixes to my face. Since I'm a coward, I'm doing this. You are still in combat, buddy. Do you want to go to an hospital? To an to second main phase. I don't think they realize. They will at some point, eventually, everybody does. This is going to be sad, but we are going to win this round because of the clock. Like, our opponent is playing uber slowly. We still have another. They have to kill us this game, which is not going to be trivial. Then we have to win to play another one at least and we could win that one and then what so yeah you want to play these decks play faster win to life for Valkyrie I presume five color images Yeah, it's the Tival Cosmic Impostor. I guess maybe the right play was to not block at all and keep the um, keep the line in Helix to attack the Tival plus Helix. Maybe that was the right play. I don't have many answers to the vault. One get lost and that's it. These workers are problematic for this. A gigantic Sar Typhoon, I guess, helps. If they don't have another vanishing burst or Leyland mining. They discard the wandering mine and analyze the polar. I probably have more Nimithets in hand, more bring to lights. Yeah, I don't think there's a real chance that they can beat us on time the whole round. Maybe they can, huh? maybe they, they will speed up next game. Yeah, so maybe the right play was to not block, take 8, not take, yeah, take 8, go down, go very low on life. Yes, I'll wonder in mine, and I, I hate how uh, ugly it is to see what the vault is silent. I truly, truly hate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will go down to six. If you have two more lightning helixes in your hand, I will die to that. They could totally have, have them. And they could also not have them. They have 35 cards left. <laughs> they can bring to light for, for the um, helix. That would work. They missed? Really? No. Oh, they found a helix. So now we're dead. Oh, what you're telling me? Fable. Okay.
anything else? Nothing else. Okay, I'm going to make a gigantic sword. I'm not going to do much, but it's on a sword. We need to kill the one day mine to be able to attack the Tibalt. Probably have a removal spell here. No, they don't, but they have a block. They can win just with the Tibalt ultimate and playing all the lightning helixes that there are in the graveyard. That would be fun. Yeah. We are 11 minutes over our opponent's clock. That's it's usually automatically win the game. It's also true that they drew a lot more cards and they took a lot more game actions. That's true. I mean, Helix, my friends. Ah, oh, no more life, by the way. Just to be annoying. I'm going to fill all in now so I can F6 after this. Just kill me already, please. I don't even know what we have in our cyborg for this matchup. Tomhos is fine, Mordovin's Vitos are fine, Disputes are fine, Narset is fine, Moonlight is medium, medium to bad. Cycles, cycling is important. We died. So as mentioned, Dobbins Vito, Narse, Dispute, Chrome Sitsar, No one touch the tower. Don't really want Lightning Helix actually. The body lockdowns, I don't really really want those. Coming in Halloween Moonlight, at least like it does something. That's it? Oh, it doesn't do it. Well, yeah, it's Wood versus Jorion. Okay. I think sweepers are fine. That's that's how we win. They they cannot overstand, so we keep generating value and eventually we win. As a reversal doesn't really do much versus them. Okay, let's try like this. I would like to play first. Thank you very much.
would like to reveal my Jorion and you would probably like to reveal your Jorion. What just happened? What's going on? They just conceded. Do they want? Oh, okay, okay. I think what I know what's going on. They think they have to win super fast, which is true. And if we win, there's no way. Like, there's no way in three. It's, it's not something that's going to happen. So they probably think they have a better chance on the play to beat me fast. So that's what they want to do. They want to try and beat us by being on the play. I respect that. That's some strategy. The real strategy was to not play this slow. But that, that's actually decent, a decent idea. You truly think your odds on the play are better than your odds on the draw? Way better. And you assume that you have to win because there's not going to be a game 3 because you have no plot. This is a solid reasoning. Will I play my favor here? Probably. I think getting the first favor on the table is so important. Even if they have double removal for it. The only punish for this is Omnath. Omnath, well, only. The real punish for this is an Omnath. And now they can resolve Omnath and impede it. That's annoying. They chose not to. Are we playing something? Money is invest, that's fine. I'm very fine with that. Fable, Fable is better in this matchup than not having it versus the blue-white control deck but I think the, all the rest of the cards you get from this uh, red dust plus are not worth it in this matchup, in this matchup as we saw versus Quintorius, it was insane all the bone spells were insane you have a 5 throw but I can counter with my mystical display. Which are most of them, to be honest. Yeah, that one counts. Let's contain everything. That's good. Now they can resolve a bring to light. That would be annoying. But if bring to light for bulky is not that powerful in this situation. Bring to light for a dragon is fine. Going to do this. They probably have counter magic at the ready, so I don't really want to play the wandering emperor. Okay, now maybe I want. Because I, okay, they gave up. They, they cannot win. I think we are winning this game. We are very ahead. Our hand is great. Um, ooh, our Nasek was going to miss. No, our Nasek was going to find the ferry. So it was going to be one in Emperor. They counter it. Nasek find the ferry. I think we could win this game and then an, an hypothetical game three. Do 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 Yorion. Oh yeah. What a beautiful hand. I mean to use the Yanjo is not the best thing in the world, but happy anyway. Uh-huh. On the draw. Amalia combo? 
I love, like, usually I believe Pioneer Leagues are not the best. There's way, the best play to test or the best play to be in general because people are playing random decks and stuff. But lately, they are a, a lot better. Like, people are truly playing the, the wood cards and the wood decks. That's nice, actually. That's very nice. I don't remember, like, the last time I tried to test Pioneer on my online, it was hating. Every league was a random deck, uh, people were playing very poorly, which is never something great. I don't know, it was a different time, I suppose. But now, at least we are, we are seeing good stuff from our opponents. No Lies Asylum is amazing in this matchup. Release. I don't want to tap out because they could kill us, but they usually play one or two basics. So, Philo Ruining is recommended, I would say. You have a way to gain life, opponent. Doesn't seem like it. And to get an island and temporary lockdown the board. This has to be a decent matchup. Decent to good. I don't know if it actually is, I have no idea. But like the red cards seem very good in this matchup. Because target and removal is decent versus Amalia. And it's just they cannot present a solid enough plan B. When I play Amalia, my experience all the time is my creatures suck, I cannot kill my opponent <laughs> unless I combo. And we have all the time in the world versus an opponent that can only combo to win. Combo through creatures, I mean. If it was Lotus Field, it's a completely different story. Like, for example, your classic building pot versus Jeskai Control, right? Which I think you can watch in Mengu's Workshop very soon. Uh, that matchup was all about um, the value, but here there's no value. I'm going to tap out. They can collect the company if they want. But here, like, they produce no value. They have city 1-1s one and 2-2s. Two There's no voice of resurgence, kitchen things, those kind of cards that can really bury you in, car in car advantage and attack well. That's my, that's my feeling when I play Amalia. Maybe I'm wrong. Coco. Okay. There's already two Wild World of Walter gone. The first versions of these played more better three drops to hit of Coco and some number of um what is that? Oh Coco again. What's the card I'm thinking of? Thinking of a card. Of a, a card of my mind. Voice, voice of resurgence. They played more voice of resurgence. That was a good draw. I'm not going to lie, that was a good draw. So next turn they are going to have to choose, do they want to collect a company on their turn, do they want to let us untap and have the chance of having a counter spell. But if they do it main phase, we could have another super. So it's, it seems rough for them to choose. No, no, it's not. They went for it directly. Okay, so I'm... Two Amalias are gone and two Wild Growth Walkers are gone. Also, you need three pieces to combo, right? For those of you who don't really know the deck, it's Amalia, Wild Growth Walker, and a way to gain life. So there's no way you are comboing just off a collected company. This is no... Like, it's not possible. The thing is, the ways to gain life are so redundant in the deck that 
usually you just need to find Amalia plus Wild World Walker and you find a way to gain life easily. Ooh, Deep Cavern Bath, I like that card. Now that's a good card. That does stuff. Not even stuff too. I thought about keeping the Tawara because I could do Tawara my temporary lockdown and then replay. Just not now. Technically here we could die. Now they know what we have drawn. So yeah. We could the thing is about dying. They could combo. Their combo doesn't kill us. You know? Just puts us in a hard hard position, but it doesn't kill us. And we have the Dobbins Veto for the other flux reservoir technology. Okay, Walker, do you also have the Amalia? Doesn't look like it. They could have um Chore of Calling. Chore of Calling. How do you pronounce that? Chore? Chore? That's it. That is a good draw. I'm not doing anything here, just attacking. No, I don't want to use the stable ability. We are the aggressors now. We get the, this game over with. They cannot block. To take six. We have exerted total, total control over this game. Because they don't have real card advantage. The Cocos are card advantage, but it has been neglected by our sweepers. And now we are just attacking and killing them, basically. It's so funny like, how my face changes with the light. It's not. Like I'm doing anything, I'm just changing what, whatever, um, like what uh, tab I have open in the other screen. So if I have a bright white one, it illuminates me. But if I open Discord, which is really dark, I go dark. Uh, well, that's fine. Yes, I would like to use Rosage to endure ability. I have to kill the Amalia here before the trio resolves. Also, it gets a sile, so that's why I didn't really care about what was going on. But Bosage is cool, it's a cool way of getting rid of my thing. Yes, I would like to pay three life, thank you. Amalia down. You gain two life. They cannot really attack because they know about the one day number. Which we will play, by the way. It's about time. I got you. Wow, we are drawing. <laughs> Hashtag blessed, right? We are drawing so well. I can and I will go for Jorion here. Jorion with the Emperor is so cool because you can use it again. 
I love that interaction so much. So they have two more Amalias in the deck. And we have uh, two answers. Not enough mana to play both. Well, one answer for Call of Calling and one answer for the Amalia itself. I'm going to call of calling. Have three cards in hand. So call of calling plus Amalia would be annoying. Anything else is fine. And if they let us untap, I think we are really fine. Because we can beat double core of calling once we have the mana. I don't know if I understand this attack. Seems they don't do. What is your plan by attacking? Trying to get a lifelink trigger, but that's not how it works. Uh, okay. No pressure upon him, we know it already. Again, how, how and why are we six minutes ahead on clock? Isn't control supposed to be slow, right? Control players all over the world are, are slow and everything. I, I would say they are. A lot of control players are glacially slow. Which is funny because you are playing a slow deck. You should play extra fast. Play well. Not like me, but play extra fast. Nanino, nanino, nanino. Okay, can I lock? I would love to lock. This here. This. Okay. They, they obviously have a core of calling. They have so much that they have it. Wait, why didn't I block the bat? Did I misclick? Did I double click or something? Huh. Was certain I was feeling the bat. What's going on? No call of calling? It was this the card they had all along? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what our opponent is doing either. Did I just take out my camera? Oh, sorry. What's going on? They know how the dobbins work. Uh, I think our opponent is just trying to get us to misclick or something. The same way we misclick the Jorion, I guess. Okay. Extremely weird, I would say. Rest in peace, Halloween Moonlight, Supreme's Verdict, Temporary Lockdown. 
those all seem amazing. So Vince Vito seems medium to medium minus actually. Uh, no more lies, it's probably not great. Team 8. Hmm. Somehow Steve Sark is probably good. Yeah, let's take out the counter spells. Play a solar flare tap out control deck. Jorion. Having a companion is like having a friend. You're never alone and always in good company. Well, good. In company. Would Jorion make for good company? Gigantic Sky Noodle? It's like having Rayquaza as a friend. That doesn't sound like a great company. Like great company, sorry. So yeah, probably not great company, Jorion. Our hand, very medium. If they go for a very fast combo, we are dead. But if they just play a couple of creatures here and there, have a core of calling we can hit with Hollow and Moonlight, we'll get there. Uh, playing Deserted Beach first. So I can have it. Half mana up. No wonder. Okay, Werewolf Walker is good. Good luck to draw to find a temporary lockdown, I guess. I'm thinking that maybe taking all the counters out is not great because a lot of the times you manage the board but then they have powerful top decks like Call the Tech Company and all those. Maybe at that point counter spells will be good. Maybe Fable sucks. And right now we have a Fable in my in hand and I don't want to tap out for it. So you know maybe Fable does suck. Kept the red because I want to have red mana basically. But it's not going to be easy for them to combo from this position, so I'm going to play the Fable. And as we have mentioned time and time again, even if they combo here, we are not dead. We will have to deal with Anamalia, which is not trivial. But they missed a land drop. And it's not easy to combo with low, low amounts of mana. So we can go untap, attack, play sunfall, clear the board, pass the turn, and then play, another, play a Teferi and another sunfall, I don't know. You know, there are things we can do. We are found a Sama in. I'm playing that thing. I've been a prosperous innkeeper. Yeah, I'm totally going for the soundfall next turn. Okay, we're putting that into the graveyard. Do I want to discard any number of cards? Yes, at least two lands. Ah, Fable is such a good card. But maybe, especially on the draw, it's a mistake to have Fable in your deck in this matchup. Maybe not, because Fable is amazing. I could be. I could see it being a mistake. Are you trading my token? For your Chuchu? Yeah, you are. Am I interfering here? Oh, yeah. 
Uy, I'm just editing. Hero of Dominaria in. Steffers. Steffers, Steffers. ¡Wow! Robamos con unos tocinines, ¿eh? Like, even if they have an Amalia, they still need another thing. So I'm fine. Everything attacks the fairy. It doesn't die. It has a lot of loyalty. Always have. Super might. Enough annoy. Not a lot. Just a bit. Tiny. Little bit. Are we killing the favor right away? Sure. I think. The Ferry Plus. Oh, I just realized I don't have a fifth land for my Sunfall. That's not too late. You know? Maybe I was too greedy discarding so many lands. Maybe not. What level of greediness is acceptable? I'm going to play a Chrome Host Seed Shark. We are covered from their combo. We are covered from them killing the ferry even. Oh, Thoughtseize. That's fine. Easy. Is it truly fine? I don't think so. But I don't think so because if I let them take this, I don't have a good block. Well, maybe I do. Because I can Lightning Helix the other one. I forgot that my Seed Shark is a 2 4, not a 2 2. So keep that in mind when evaluating what was this stupid play I just made. Keep in mind that I thought. My seats are could not block their wild growth work. Cannot do it profitably, I guess. Ooh, they found a land. Maybe that was a terrible play. Maybe not, because I mean I'm still very far ahead. Going cards. Extra cards for me. My family. I'm going to do this. I don't think they. Uh, I'm just clicking buttons at this point. That's not good. We know what happens when I start clicking buttons. I, I don't think they play more lands. Let's find out. More basics, I mean. Sometimes they play a second one, no? They have more lands in hand, but. That was very fun. You are playing open deck list and you are playing a filler ring deck. First thing you should do is go check what basics your opponent has. Pass.
I'm to the loose here because I don't really have much going on for me. I would like to not die. No random combo. I still need two pieces. But if I get oh, I got a fill of another fill of one. I did play a, a land already. Magic. Magic. I'm just gonna one name Emperor I don't no sample, I don't think I want the sample. Maybe I do. Loran. Interesting. Not about her. Sorry about you. If I hadn't played a land, I could fill or ruin the mana conference. That would be awesome. Bill Garden. Are we trying to go for a Coco? I'm going to work. Yes, I I'm going to start attacking and get them dead. Just play the coco. Play it now. You know you want it. Now? What are you going to play? Now you have it. You know I know you have it. Uh, everybody knows what's going on. Just tap your lands, play the protected company. We keep going on with our lives. Now you have to. No black mana for you, opponent. How are we 12 minutes over, over our opponent? This really tilts me. People play faster because if you play slow and I'm tired, I cannot make an entertaining video. It's very hard to make a, a slow video entertaining. Did you know I haven't technically been rejected from the MTGO Creator program? I haven't been accepted either. And I don't guess I will be accepted. But, but, I haven't been rejected yet. There's still time. And it's two for one with my Halloween Moonlight, I must say. Very clean. Heads or tails? It's a weird body. It's like the Vitruvian Man, but I don't know the name in English. Is that heads or tails? An idea. I don't even know what it is in Spanish. So at the end I play a land. Oh, I missed a land drop at some point. Okay, we won the match. Perfect. 3-0, huh? It's taking forever, but we are winning. Yeah, yeah. I have a Pokemon on my side. This is a hand. It's missing a removal spell, but it's de most definitely a hand. Yeah, I'm keeping this beautiful hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, come back, Magic Online. Back, don't leave me hanging. I will never do that to you. 
Oh, I'm so tired. Our opponent still moving on. No, they get oh they move to five. Another Amalia. Okay. We had great hands versus the last Amalia opponent, and they had medium minus draws. So I'm happy to replay the matchup and see what's going on. It's like focus testing, right? Like, hmm, I'm not sure about the Amalia matchup. Let's play it again. Thank you, Magic Online, for providing. You can always count on Magic Online to provide. See, like, turn one, nothing, turn two, I play a one one. It's not very menacing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're thinking. Like, they move to five. They don't have better cards than this. Like, starting with first first Inkeeper is the best start to the deck, basically. Well, you can have the other one, the one one, for one mana. That's nice, too. Is Omen of the Sea better than the Deuce? I know you have the Jorion. So at some point, it will be card advantage, right? Not only a country. More or less the same idea as the Deuce. That is a car, a car advantage card, not only a country. And it's a better country on turn 2 than the Deuce. So yeah, maybe it's better all, al all around. That means Vito for the Coco. Um, Women of the Sea, in case they play anything else. I guess one of the advantages of this deck is whenever you reveal a Jorion, you're like, hey, I have a Jorion. Your opponent is going to think you are playing um, a different deck. Uh, any of the versions of five color decks, so that's interesting. Always, oh, the, the, the good combo now. Kellan, yeah, Kellan doesn't quite do it. Mm, Kellan is very good, huh? Don't mean, get me wrong, I love the card. I think it's a solid card, it's a card you are happy to draw and have and attack with it and do things with it in the map. So Kellan, wonderful card. That Wild World Walker that's on top of the library, a bit annoying. Can I get our own one? We have several looks at our own ones, but well, not that's not it. Fable, that's not it. And removal. Come on, my goodness. Plan B. I don't think we are winning this game. Truth be told. Probably playing this fine. At least we make them shuffle the Wild World Walker away and it's not instant death for us. But we are most certainly not looking good. If they attack, we can use the One Day Emperor to excite Amalia after the fact. And if they go for a non creature spell, like that one, we are also covered. So you know, it's not the best, the worst of worlds, but they are presenting a great fight for a multi fight. Yeah. Super? No super. What if I play the ferry plus? Go down to 8. But they have to attack the ferry, so I gain a bunch of life. And they have to play into my Dobbins Veto. I just find a sweeper. Any old sweeper. Any old sweeper in here. Good. Yes, they are incentivized to main deck the Coco again. We drew our two off Dovin's Vito in our 80 card deck. Just perfection. Now Teferi is going down. I guess, I presume. Yeah. 
like it gained us our ancho of life. Ooh, that one is scary because it insta kills us when they combo. The thing is, we are going into the mana denial plan again. But Kelan draw in extra cards is annoying. Such a good card draw. Okay, I go down to six. I presume the one in Emperor is going to die. Now they cannot cast an Amalia. They have no black black lands. Between waste not decks and blue white decks playing Phil or Ruin, it's kind of oh are we there? No, not there. We're going down to one. Oh wow! Whenever you are in life, each opponent loses one life. Yeah, not having a timely lockdown that we like we did the other the other time. Well, some fall or GG. Sample? GG? Sample? Shark Tycoon. Any creature kills us? Any. We die to so many things. Okay, we died. Moon to 5, huh? We didn't find any, any removal. Maybe we could have played this differently. I mean, maybe no, we could for sure have played this differently. But I like how we played it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, uh, so we mentioned that we don't love the counter spells, but they have to be a lot better on the play. Same with Fable, of course. Fable on the play is so much better. You know the one in Emperor seems so bad. Maybe it's a mistake and you should never take out one in Emperors. Yeah, no more likes. They have so few mana sources. Like the hmm. No more lies feels like a hard counter. How could we have won the, that game? We need a removal spell. Ah. Seems like a normal two power hand. If we had to do a turn three fable on the plate, that would be very powerful, of course. Okay. Kellan is good. Countering things in ways that we If they play Kellan, I think I'm going to play Lightning Helix on it. I'd rather save my counter spells for other cards. Maybe that's a mistake if now my plan was to fable, right? Because now I don't have so the idea yeah, that was a mistake. So I counter, then I play fable, you play something, and then I have fable, removal and counter in my hand. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. A, a complete mistake. Now now that that resolved and I didn't and now I have no answer for it. So that's yeah, that's a that, oh, that was a mistake. We learn, we learn from mistakes. I'm playing a second fable. Maybe risky, but 
I think there's a reason to it. We could die here. Well, not die, but they could combo. Ah, uh, yeah. It's true that the Lightning Hillis will not kill that Wild Road Walker. Here I think it's fine tapping out even though I have the counter spells because I have the Zoomfall too. So I kind of want them to... Oh. Ooh, that one is good. It makes my things more expensive. Well, then I don't want to... I want my lands. I want my my treasures. I can win with the double table. It's always a way of winning games. I'd like for that not resolve. Yeah, I'm going to counter things because I want the reflection to win the game. So I don't want to sample the reflections away. He does I think it's fine. Is it annoying now? Without that, I will have some fall and then have a bunch of... Wow, painful truth. Nice deck. I will have some fall and then have a backup double counter and just win the game with that. Let's see how they attack. We're going to make eight fable tokens copies. Mm, that seems very lethal. Suppose they could have something good here. Structure mm, specialists. That's fine. Taking the voice, I guess. Need to count now because maybe I don't want to use the treasures. They are 12. Well, they are virtual 15 because of the specialist, right? There's four blockers, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 attackers. 6 get through. It's not enough. So, in that case, I will not. Attack with all the copies here. Gate. They can combo now. That would be annoying. 
Ooh, maybe this. L6. Problem is, if I memory they lose, it costs me 9 mana, right? Well, that's not very helpful. Let's see. I should block, I guess. Okay. Okay, I messed up this game. I play badly, poorly. See what they do. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I should have lost this game. I, I mean, the raid and was unexpected. I don't think I played well. I don't think I should have played the second fable. This rule was a mistake. Playing the the first counter spell, the first helix instead of the first counter spell. Yeah, several mistakes in this game. Several mistakes. There's a lot to learn here. Let's see what they leave on top. Usually, is the oh, it's in the living collective company. They're probably happy with that. I mean, it's a good card, but since it's very medium, right? Like Return to a Ranks or Airflux Reservoir are better. They they could have the Reservoir in hand too. That could be a thing. Okay. A voice, a voice to the you have the reservoir in hand. To be. They have to decide what are we going to do to win the game and how can they stop us. Sure. It's not especially scary. The painful tooth was interesting and nice. I liked that technology. Let's find something good, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So no more lies, not really doing much for us. I guess some fall and fable. Of course, gain, winning this game by attacking not going to be so easy. So we just have to control the board, kill everything they play, and hope to not die. It's not going to be easy. We don't have Dobbins Veto, so how are we stopping another Flush Reservoir if they have one? They could, they could not have it, but. It was weird to me that they chose to keep the collective company on top. Sure. That's, that's perfectly fine, no? 
technically 76 life is quite a lot, but it's not impossible. We could get there. We have gotten the Supreme Verdict. If they have another Flux Reservoir in the deck, I don't think we can win, realistically. But without that, there's a chance. Mm. I'm thinking, thinking a lot. We are only at 8, not a lot of life. We do have the incubator token to block. Very fun thing, you have the incubator token. They cannot kill you by the, you can go by Amalia, kill everything, attack, and you go like we flip the incubator token, jump block, and tap kill your Amalia. But that's why you have the flux reservoir is in the deck, to stop those situations. We return to our ranks. No. We record of calling. Imagine it's a return to our ranks. Yeah. Okay, so we are comboing again. And now we are leaving the other flux reservoir on top. Painful too. Ooh, Dina, that one is a problem. With that one, we just die. Can I find... Rest in peace. We don't have Dobbins Vito anymore in the deck. They're not going to leave another Coco on top. They are leaving another Coco on I think they sided out the other Fruit Reservoir. That's my only explanation for this behavior. I need to think if we find a rest in peace, we win this game. Because an, an I return to a rank will kill us because of the Dina. We have seen that card in action already. But aside from Dina, I think we're fine. Okay, everything dies again. A couple of triggers. Cool. I don't even think I want the subtech pin. The crypto doesn't do much for me right now. Change the equation is not bad. Not late right either. Well, it, kill, it counters the Coco, we know they have. So that's good. But I'm scared about another return to runs. I think we just die. But turn to ranks, we think we just die. I mean, it's not that I think we, die. we just die, so we, we actually just die. Okay, what are they getting? I guess technically we should know what they have in hand, right? Because of all the lands they have been getting and everything. But I didn't keep any track of that. They may only have lands in hand. They, they could be probably only have five cards in hand. So that's your specialist. Okay. Okay. Your own value. 
Speed my landing hand. We need to survive 13 more turns. I don't think that's going to happen. Because we, we don't have hard counters to stop our return to the ranks. So, unless they have sided, sided them out. Somehow. And uh, the first reservoir also will kill us, but I'm starting to believe they don't have one. If they have one, that's fine. They just go Sathion Specialist for Malia. That's something we can manage. Station especially for Dina would be annoying. Yeah, they took the Dina. Let me read this card again. That was the wrong order then. To do it. More Kitus. That's uh, down to seven life. Can I get another removal spell? For that Dina. That's six. Six is not that much. That's good. And I think that that's maybe game. I have no idea what's going on. Pretty sure they have sided out the other flux reservoir and they are completely rotating it. I want to kill the Dina, I don't think it makes sense to leave it alone. I can sacrifice things to it. Do we die? Oh, did, did I mess up by not killing it on our turn? Because of the luminous? Oh my god, I forgot these things. Double triggers every time they sacrifice a creature because it leaves the battlefield. Oh, sick. Did we have the win and I just messed it up? Nah, that just happened, right? I, I completely messed it up. Forgot about that. I think we were going to win this game. If I just play the get lost in my turn. It was that easy. Yeah, we die. Have no cards. What are you doing? Wait. This is another creature, so it doesn't count itself? We are one. One is not zero. Oh my god. I'm not dead. I messed up big time, but we are not dead. We have a, a big, big world world of work. Okay, we are one life, which is not a lot. We have to survive eight turns. Sure thing. Can I get something good? Or ring count that's something good. No? <laughs> yes, because I have a super inverted on the bottom of my deck, I would like to shuffle. So let's do that. Oh they I don't think taking the planes was a good idea for them. Maybe it was, but I don't think so. Uh, one life. The moment we get the, the reflection of Kikijiki online, we can start some blocking a lot. Amalia, really? Another one? 
We're doing this again. No, that doesn't count because it doesn't. It's another creature. We have been through this one already. Wow, that was the wildest game I have played in a while. I played it so poorly, so poorly, and somehow still got there. So yeah, maybe some number of Dobbins Vito. Nasset? They played at least two painful truths. I don't think Fable. On the other hand, Fable was amazing. Because Fable always is amazing. But I think I could have won without the Fable. Just playing better. You know what? I'm going to read the Kuthil's Flankers. A couple of Dobbins Vito. To have some outs, at least. So we're on the draw. I don't really want to tap out for the Fables. And I guess the Kuthil's the Flankers have to be here for this matchup, right? But they are very good with the Fable. I, I don't think taking Fable out is, is correct. Maybe it is? I don't think. I don't think so. Maybe dead. It's also true that they are very, very low on time. Again, another opponent is very low on time versus us. Am I going to get painful truth here? And regret not having Dobbins Vito up. No. Raidain. I don't know how to pronounce that. Raidain. Raidain. Lucy's Flankers is completely going to champ. Well, not champ. Raid. Who probably played? It's Cry 2, Game 2. Sounds alright to me. Maybe not. Yeah, I think so. I, th I need I need some axiom here. Let's just cry. Not this. Probably fine with that because it's a room well spell and after all. <sighs> Cannot play memory they lose because of the reading. They done it. So yeah. Amalia just kills us. They have three cards left. Amalia not quite lethal. It will be soon. Basically anything, any creature is lethal. That's problematic. Oh, they no Kritu? Maybe they have a non Kritu spell. Can I find a room? Oh, that's a room spell. And I would one. Let's try it. If this results, I think we win. This match was a roller coaster. So our opponent has to start feeling the pressure of the time. They have one minute and a half left. And this is the opponent that plays the fastest. It's true that the Amalia combo is slow, like click intensive and everything. It's not the slowest. Like we had KCI, you know. They, they know about the Dobbins Vito, right? No, they don't. Oh, they don't know about the Dobbins Vito. Still, they are respecting it. That's interesting. 
fill this and hope this resolves. Okay, that makes sense. Not sure it completely makes sense. Ah, you cannot choose to keep the Dina out, right? Sacrifice another creature. We were so lucky they didn't have a creature there. Kill us. Ah, see. Here we go again. I think we are going to win on time. Which is a city way to win. I don't like it. Unless they have the other flush reservoir this time around. What if? No, because if they have Hayward Might, it's not correct, right? They go, they get the Hayward Might and they kill us. Yeah, that was, no, it wasn't correct. To let the convoke the curve calling resolve. Technically, these are all cards in their hand. No, this feels like they do have. Oh, they are going to die to time. That's not fun. I mean, it's magic online and all, but it's not fun. We don't play to win on time. This doesn't make for good content. Yeah. This was going. They had one more trigger, and we were going to draw. We need an answer from Malia. Can I see my draw, please? Please let me see what I was going to draw. Are you online? Don't do this to me. Oh, see. Well, we won. Undefeated, but that didn't feel like a win. I played poorly. It's amazing. I must say, I must say this. It's amazing that we won game two. But I think I, I played poorly game one and two. I don't know game one. I, I will have to think about it. But game two played poorly for sure. And I have already explained why, so... But this game... Maybe we could win it. Because they had one more trigger, and if they don't find something good to leave on top, they had like only lands in hand. We draw, we have draw step, plus four cards we're going to see, we just need a removal. I think we could win this one. If they do not have the other flux reservoir. Anyway, 4-0, let's get the, the, the fake trophy because we have won on time both two rounds. Which is a legit way of winning games on Magic on Magic Online, but it's not good content. We won the die roll? Wow, so lucky. Let's get a trophy. A weird trophy, almost with the season ending too, but you never get trophies on Magic Online. This deck does feel powerful enough to get it. What is our what our are our band matchups? Probably vampires. I would like to have uh, to face vampires to see how it is. Oh, the mirror. Well, blue white control. Spyla side. Okay, is this some sort of convoke deck or? And soul artifact deck. What is this? What is this? Cyclone Coast. So blue eye. This is not a speedy. Yeah, this has to be some sort of combo. Blue white rather than blue red. Uh, no more lies seems good enough to keep. Because they are probably setting up for a payoff spell, which I don't know which one is going to be. And the no more lies seems important in that context. No idea what we are facing here. Of one mind, wow. Ah, wow, one mana draw two, that's... Chef's kiss. Ah. 
though. I've been cleaning a room, and by clean I mean like taking all the. Um, what's the name? You know the thing is like the. I took out a, a drawer and. A, oh my god! I don't remember furniture. Taking all the furniture out and dismounting the stuff and you know like reverse IKEA. I'm so tired. Was some some of those that stuff was heavy. Let's see. I don't want to smell the sculptor when my plan is to superinvert it in the board. This is like blue white agro, blue white tempo, something like that. I don't want to miss land drops or omen. Omen into omen, that sounds good. Uh, I will happily keep both, I guess. I'm going to tap out, let them do whatever they want. Patron. Uh, 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 fine with one land, don't really want the second one. I hope, I don't think this will happen, that they just play a bunch of creatures that I can kill with my sweepers. I must say that creatures are leaving a lot of value on the table. Ooh, what is that? A case. A saga, not a case, but a saga. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and then a turn for each artifact. Wow. That's a good attack. Then it does things, right, on your side. It's big. Okay, so it's like blue white artifacts. There's some fall now that they are tapped out. No any this has to be a spell pierce there. So mm, what's the card? I think no. The temporary lockdown has to be impressive or something. Impressive, impressive. Let's see what they do. I have no idea what we are facing, no? If that wasn't obvious. Ooh. That one is good. We have. We don't really have good ways of getting rid of the cryptic code because we are not playing. Um, I would say the name uh, March for the worldly light anymore, which would probably be the way of getting rid of it of that thing. But Cryptic Coat is a great card. Very annoying. We are at 11, huh? The, the attack with the that thing was... Very good. We have no ways in our main deck or cyborg to kill a Cryptic Coat. We are going to die to that card. Yep, I think Cryptic Coat is completely going to kill us. Down to eight. Eight is not a lot of life. Please play more creatures. Not a creature. That's a problem. They have three cards left, but they also have two clue tokens. So we're in trouble, I would say. They can take the cryptic code back to their hand. Mm -hmm. 
Hypticon not being blockable, it's a bit annoying. Because a two two is fine, right? We have one day emperors to block it forever. But a three two that cannot be blocked, that's a problem. So we get lost on a smuggler copter results. That's a way of winning this game. Let's see what they do. Beginning of combat. Let me be your smallest copter, please. Please. Oh, oh, I'm looking good for us right now. Oh no, the daddy rebuke. What a card. A wonderful, wonderful card. So powerful for you. Going down to fat life. Raven Inspector plus Malescope is quite the combo. You know which card would be amazing? Farewell. No how many times I'm going to say that, but farewell. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I just die, right? If they have fanatic counter spell, I just die. I'm not happy about that. So let's assign this to play around counter spells. What did we assign? Another metallic review. Well, then the odds of them having another one in hand just went down. Are they going to attack face or are they going to attack the one day emperor? That's a good question. It's always a choice attacking your opponent or attacking the planeswalker. Usually, would they risk it? is to um I would say is to kill the planes worker unless you're actually killing your opponent. That's how they risk it. Okay they revealed a land. They revealing more? Now they can loot the land away, that's value. They didn't discard the Halloween. They discarded a novice inspector. Why? Well, five mana. Hear me out. Five mana is a sad amount you need to bring back the cryptic code to hand and replay it again. So that's a very convenient amount of mana. Why don't I have a farewell in my deck <laughs> that I can draw right now? Probably farewell and fable in the same deck is not the best. Yes, that's the that's the answer I guess. Backup cryptic code, huh? I'm dying. I'm dying. 
Can you tap out or something? Okay, I have a plan. It's not a great plan. It's a percentage of a plan. Well, now that I have drawn that, I could try to one day emperor the smallest sculptor and no more lies, whatever they. They have so much mana. You know what? I'm going for Jordan. That was the plan all along. I think if this resolves, I think we have a chance. Already two metallic rebukes out. You going to kill my Jordan? Fine. Fine, fine. I think now we are dead. No matter what we do, I think we are dead. No, no, no. Yeah, we're dead. If they see the line, we're dead. Not very hard. It's not a very hard line, but it's dead. I can do this, but they can just flip the cryptic. I go up to 6, which is not 7 or 8, which is a kind of life total that will keep me alive. So we are dead. The second smallest cop the second smallest copter was annoying. Truly annoying. And we win game two and game three, I believe in ourselves. Oh I believe, I believe. Believe I can fly. A pechito. Venga. Attack. When they attack face instead of the one in Emperor, that was a. Now they are. That's what's paying off them off. I don't want to wait for you to loot. Hmm. How are we winning this matchup? This seems the kind of matchup that's very bad, right? They play cheap, efficient beaters, and. Ooh, Clone Horse Sitzer has to be the bait versus them. So it's Mystical Dispute. Omen of the Sea seems. Me no, sorry. Change the equation seems medium. Omen of the Sea has to be. is part of the core of the deck. I don't mind Supreme Verdict over Sunfall, actually. I think Sunfall is going to be a liability in this matchup. We are happy with the cheap removals and the temporary lockdowns. Mm, what's the last card? One Day Emperor seems so medium. Like playing a One Day Emperor versus our Novice Inspector. That's terrible. Ooh, you can see my room. Please don't look. Okay. Yes, the answer to going first is yes. We got thoroughly destroyed game one. It seems like a decent hand. Turn three fable, turn four the ferry on the play. Has to be decent. I think we have to be more proactive. Fable gives us those draws, right? You can actually be proactive. That's nice. Playing the raw ring first.
Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. If they go land, Smart Scopter is going to suck. Mustacho has sent me a message. Verde. Ok. Ok, Real Unicorn. Well, we're very well equipped to deal with that card. In general. And in particular in this position. Yeah, I think this game is going to be, go well for us. Unless they have like an amazing turn 3. If we land that Teferi. If they leave mana up, maybe I don't go for the Teferi. Okay, let's focus. I want this trophy all the time. But I, and I haven't finished with the stupid room. There's a wardrobe. Oh, wardrobe. That was the word I was looking for. It's a wardrobe that I haven't quite figured out how to dismantle. It's so heavy and tall. Any friends? I don't have friends. I'm a nerd that doesn't have friends. Just stays at home playing children card games all day. Please trade with my golden token. Would you? Would you do me that favor? Block? Just block. The golden token is so good, right? It will bury you in, in mana advantage. What about the first? Ah, no force of narration, right? Yes, so nice. Or force of will. For those of you eternal. Okay. If they just play one spell. And we manage to hit that spell with temporary lockdown with <laughs> with normal lies that would be amazing <sighs> um yeah this is kind of like if they counter back I'm happy because then I will slam the lockdown and it's one less counter spell. Metallic Rebuke. Rebuke is such a good card. I like it so much. It feels like it should see more play. This deck is cool. No? Similar to the Talisker artifact special from From standard? No, no, no. I have a question. Well, I have said. What happens when I temporarily lock down the clue token? The clue token, the cloak card. What happens? Ends one, try to ring one, it turns into ten. I fly a plane, a plane, I fly a plane. Then by lockdown, what happens? Oh, it goes away. Awesome. Awesome sauce. They have three cards left, and we have the head, the head, the head. The heavy hero of Dominaria. Heavy hero of Dominaria. Oh yeah, they gave up. On the draw now, a lot harder. What about those those Dominus Vito we have there? They are late, right? We want to counter the stupid vehicle. Probably still good because of the cloak. No pressure, but I haven't had a trophy in quite a while, so some pressure. This looks like a beautiful hand. Turn 2, Lightning Helix. Turn 3, lock down your whole ward. Turn 4, Super Merdit, whatever you have managed to reveal. Yeah. Raven Spell. So weird because that's the OG, right? 
but I have been playing so much with the new one, I just forgot. Like now I think about the other drawing, this one. So cool, so cool, I love it so much. Am I going to make myself a Steferi for this thumbnail? No, it's going to be a thumbnail with Lightning Helix. You know the problem with Lightning Helix? I, this happened to me already, I remember now. There wasn't, I couldn't find the image of the OG Lightning Helix in like high, high definition. I think I have lived through this already. Oh, oh, mama. That was a, that's a problem. Hmm. That's good. I think I don't want to take a bunch of damage. So I will try to any helix. Also, this has the the incentive that if they have a counter spell, well maybe they play it. And if they don't, I, I'm not under a lot of pressure. So I can just wait. What if you just play another Thraven Spectre? Or Novin Spectre? Or side and whatever. <sighs> I'm playing right into the counter spell, which I think they have. I think they were very. Oh. Okay. No counter spell? Maybe they have a bunch of two drops and three drops in hand, and they are being slowly slow at deploying them. Cryptic code that makes sense. That tracks. Still bothers me that I have no real way of getting rid of it. My deck. Hopefully they tap out for something and we can counter that thing. And then land at a ferry. That would be ideal, of course. That's how you play in easy, on easy mode. What happens if they just pass the draw? Probably nothing. Four mana. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, I'm going to counter that thing. That's wood. Land, 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 and tap land. Island, just an island. No, just a normal island. Again, we are 11 minutes. No, not till nine. Nine minutes ahead of our opponent. Why? How? Please stop playing so slow, everybody. Why? They did. They had the be right back thingy. That's true. Still completely unhinged. What's going on here? Okay, so in an ideal world, they just deploy two creatures. So if I had to choose how to win this game. Is they're going to go Kitur Kitur, pass, and I'm going to go Super Merdy your board and draw cards with my turn. Ideally, most ideally, okay. I was going to say they go Kitur Kitur, leave a counter spell up, and I have the Super Merdy, which is the ultimate simulation. Oh, that's so smart. Because now they get the Michiko's Reign of something trigger of truth. And with that, they kill my Teferi. They have one card left. Just the one. Oh, they misordered the trigger. Doesn't matter, luckily for them. But they 
they messed up that order, you know. Bye bye to Freddy, huh? I need a fair one. Just my one. Hey, no wins in Spector. Can I draw a counter spell? For that cryptic code? No, sir. I'm going to play this. First of all, because I want more lands. And second of all, because I'm going to play temporary lockdown and they will at some point kill it. And I will gladly, gladly have my that thing come back when my the boy lockdown goes out now they can choose whether they want to bring back the cryptic code to hand or they want to draw a card with the clue token okay now you lost your clue token i think that's right like you you draw with the clue token and next turn you spend five mana on replaying the cryptic code right that has to be better no, I'm not a blue white artifact expert. Yes, a boy. Well, can I get my Teferi to resolve? That would be neat. No, they found the counter spell. It's fair. It's very fair, I would say. In fact. Why do we have a critic? Is this supposed to be oh oh the thing that was flipped it was a critical code and we exiled it. Wow. Wow, that's that's mental, bro. I want to hard cast as a typhoon. That's something I would be interested in. Huh? Probably not. Okay, let's try to win the game now. If they don't draw a land, I think we just win the game. If they draw a, a normal creature or something. Can we just normalize the cryptic code and that's GG? Please draw a tap one, a synchron code. That would be incredible. The small scope is good, but it's not the good one. Oh, they are being patient. Interesting. Probably right. Oh, that's weird. Too. It's going to make a gigantic sort of one, I guess. Can make a 3 3 sort of one, and that will be fine too. They found the land. Awesome. Awesome for them. Really happy. Yeah, I'm going to win the race with Sar Typhoon plus Rustless Accurate. Yeah, 5-5 five, five, Sar Typhoon. We attack for 7 twice and we just win. So we got this fun. Can I cycle? The trophy is close. Come three. They were very patient with that cryptic code. I respect that.
just going to torch the tower, the that thing. So he cannot even attack next turn. Oh, they can flip it. Ah, they can return the thing to her hand. That's fine. What's a, another siren? Ah. Okay. Let's see what they draw. Again, super ahead of block on our opponents. People play fast these days. This video could have been like two thirds of the actual length. Oh. Oh right, that was long. It took me several days to record this video. Well, just two days. Hope you liked it. This seems well positioned. Also, this seems way better than regular blue white control. Magwin sauce. Genius deck builder once again. Didn't like the cheater guy, the builds life guy, win a challenge with this? Uh, we don't care about cheaters, right? Do we? Would you like it? If you like, please leave a like. This video took a, was so rough to make. I'm so tired because I'm fat and out of shape and doing physical stuff strains me. So please like, comment, subscribe, watch more videos. That helps a lot. And come tomorrow for more. See you, nerds.